So I've been a video editor for over a decade, and that means I've pretty much used every single plugin and extension that After Effects has to offer. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys three plugins that have stuck with me throughout the years and I use in pretty much every video. Real Smart Motion Blur, or as most people call it, RSMB. RSMB is this digital motion blur that allows you to kind of comp in VFX work into actual footage and make it look like it has motion blur and the VFX was actually there. I've been using RSMB for pretty much as long as I can remember in After Effects. And as far as I've found over the last 10 years, it's pretty much the easiest way to make your VFX look like it was actually done in the camera and make it look a lot more realistic. If you've watched any of my tutorials, I pretty much use RSMB on every single time I do some kind of VFX. It's a plugin that I recommend to pretty much every editor that does any sort of VFX work. Shake Sauce. Shake Sauce is an After Effects extension that allows you to add shake to your projects quickly and easily. And it's actually something that I personally have made. I hired a developer with a vision to create the best After Effects shake. And I can confidently say we've done that. Shake Sauce comes with a bunch of preset shakes that are amazing. And then they're all fully customizable. And dealing with any kind of shakes in After Effects, I've always dealt with a lot of rendering issues because it is kind of intensive on your computer. So the way we develop Shake Sauce is you can actually preview the shakes inside the Shake Sauce extension window before you apply it to your footage. That way you can get a feel for what the shake's gonna look like on your footage before you even have to render anything. There are a bunch of constant shakes as well as keyframe shakes, and they're all fully customizable and keyframable. So that way you can create your own shake as well. Very similar to how Real Smart Motion Blur can be used in any project, Shake Sauce can pretty much be used in every project as well. And there's just so many different use cases. I've seen it be used in sports edits, car edits, even be used on a shopping cart, which is pretty cool. So I'd recommend it if you wanna add shake to your project. Dehancer Pro. I recently discovered Dehancer, but I've always been using film elements in my project, whether it be film overlays or burns. I'll actually have the film Dehancer pop up on screen so you can kind of see what it does with my settings that I put on. I'm a sucker for the film look and I try to use it as much as possible, to be honest. And not only does it look really cool and nostalgic, also helps you kind of blend your VFX. If you've noticed these three plugins, all three of them are things that you can kind of use in daily use. And that's why they're my top three, because there are other plugins that I use that are cool, but they're more like specific uses. And with these three plugins, these are the ones that I use the most often. So I would recommend Dehancer Pro to anyone that likes the film look. These three plugins were in no specific order, but they are my top three plugins used as a video editor today. And there have been plenty that I've gone through, used for a little bit, cut out of my workflow. But right now, and I don't really see it changing anytime soon, these are my top three plugins that I use on a daily basis. I'll have all three of the plugins linked in the description. That way you guys can go download them if they interested you. I'm going to reach out to the companies to see if they can get me an affiliate link. That way we can all benefit from this video. But even if they don't, I'm still gonna have them linked in the description because these are genuinely the top three that I use all the time. Drop a like on this video and comment down below if you guys wanna see more videos like this where I recommend plugins or software or maybe three top free plugins that I use down in the comments below. That way I can know if you guys want more videos like this. Be sure to be subscribed to the channel, but that's all I got for you guys on this one. Peace.